Dr. Norman Finkelstein ditanya oleh Piers Morgan tentang bagaimana keperasaan ibu bapanya tentang apa yang telah berlaku pada 7 Oktober. Dan secara konteksnya untuk saya berkongsi dengan sahabat-sahabat semua yang tidak kenal siapa Dr. Norman. Dr. Norman sendiri merupakan seorang yang berbangsa Yahudi, berusia 69 tahun dan telah menulis banyak buku dan beliau sangat-sangat kritikal dan kedua-dua ibu bapanya telah meninggal dunia dan kedua-dua ibu bapanya merupakan survivor kepada Holocaust oleh Nazi. Dan ini jawapan daripada Dr. Norman yang menjadikan Piers Morgan tergamam. What do you feel about them? I mean, how would your parents have felt about you literally on the day that this happened, talking about heroic resistance, talking about that you will never begrudge the scenes, uh, that you, the stars in heaven are looking kindly down, glory, glory, the souls of Gaza go marching on. How would your parents have felt about mm -hmm. that, coming out of concentration camps, surviving the Holocaust of World War II? Well, first of all, anything I write, I have my parents looking at the screen behind me over my shoulders in a metaphorical sense. I am very conscious every moment of my existence, every moment of my existence goes back to the martyrdom of my family. So it's not as if suddenly you're posing a question to me that never occurred to me. Quite the contrary, I do need even 30 years after their death, I need the moral validation that came from my parents' martyrdom and the extermination of their family. How would my parents have reacted? My guess is if on the first day they heard that inmates in a concentration camp burst its gates, I think my parents would be very pleased at that fact. As the events became clearer, my guess, but this is pure speculation, my guess is my parents would go out with their hearts, would go out to those who burst the gates of the concentration camp and whose lives were destroyed. Now, you will say to me completely legitimately, you would say, well, what would your parents feel about the innocents who were slaughtered in the atrocities on that date? So I'm going to give you as close an answer as I could give, I, as I'm able to. I once asked my late mother, I said to her, what was your feeling when you heard that the German cities were being terror bombed during World War II? the carpet bombing of the German cities targeting civilians. What was your feeling? And my mother's response to me was, quote, our feeling was, if we're going to die, we're going to take some of them with us. Now, that's not the most morally elevated statement. I agree. And do I wish my mother had and my father had a heightened sensitivity to German civilian life, I suppose I would wish it. But I will tell you, Piers, to the last day of my parents' life, it was unthinkable that they would have a kind word to say about Germans. And it was unthinkable that I would ever quarrel with them on that point. Okay. I accepted, I accepted that given their life experience, they okay. had the right to hate the people who destroyed their lives. Okay. And the people Professor of Gaza have the right to hate the people who destroyed their lives.